Hello guys, so now I'm gonna read you the full description of a gamine image identity from the 80s book Metamorphosis by David Kibbe. Little note from myself, nowadays David Kibbe doesn't use clear types like natural, classic or gamine because he says that there's always a tendency towards more softness or more drama. So the celebrities I'm gonna show you today used to be in Kibi's celebrities list, but right now probably he would put some of them to a softer category, to soft gamines, and some of them to flamboyant gamines. Note, the following information should be taken as a broad outline of what makes a gamine. It is the overall combination of opposites on the yin-yang scale, sharply delicate physicality, along with a fresh and spicy essence. That creates this image identity category. Therefore, a slight deviation here or there is always possible and should not be worried over if it does not upset your yin-yang balance. Height. Normally 5 feet, 5 inches and under. Bone structure. Angular, sharp, narrow, sometimes described as delicate. Square or tapered shoulders tend to narrowness as opposed to broad. Delicately sharp facial contours. Nose, jaw, cheekbones. Hands and feet are moderate to small and tend to narrowness. Arms and legs tend to be long. Body type, straight, lithe and lean, tends towards sun white musculature. Tends towards flatness in bust and hips unless overweight. May be very leggy, cultish. Possibility of being slightly short-waisted. Facial features. Large eyes, moderate to thin lips, narrow or straight, as opposed to full. Taut cheeks and flesh. Hair. Any type is possible, but frequently hair is fine and silky. Coloring. Any coloring is possible, warm or cool, but gamines are usually distinct or vivid in coloration. Moderate to high contrast coloring is often the case. If overweight, excess weight tends to show up in the hip and waist areas. Rarely does it appear above the waist. If a gamine is extremely overweight, the body tends to square or stocky appearance as opposed to curves. A gamine will normally not be over 5 feet 5 inches, and is usually even more petite, have extremely large bone structure, have prominent or exotic features except for enormous eyes, have large hands and feet, have an hourglass figure with a waspish waist and a full bust and hips, be symmetrical in body type or facial features. Some additional information in other part of the book says, the final major spot on the yin-yang scale is the combination of opposites that represents the gamine. Yin in size, petite. Yin in facial features, full and rounded. But yang in body type, straight and narrow. And in bone structure, sharp and narrow. The gamine is equal parts yin and yang, always maintaining a natural contradiction that is the basis for her physical makeup. Now let's go to basic recommendations for gamines. Shape. Small, sharp geometrics. Precisely fitted and crisply tailored. The small size and precision fit come from the yin. The sharp edges and crisp tailoring come from the yang. They might not look as good in oversized, large or long geometrics, unconstructed shapes, soft-edged, flowing or rounded shapes, ornate, intricate or delicate shapes. Line and silhouette. Your outline should be sharp, straight and staccato. The use of severe lines with sharp edges come from the yang. The broken staccato animated outline comes from the yin. Utilizing many short vertical lines and many short horizontal lines is also effective. An overabundance of detail adds to the precisely fitted silhouette that is crucial to your look. You might not look as good in elongated lines in wide lines, in curved lines, in flowing lines, in smooth lines, in oversized or unconstructed silhouettes, in ornate silhouettes. Detail. You can never wear too much detail. An abundance of it used everywhere in your look is one of the most effective tools you have for capturing your animated effervescence. Detail should always be small, sharp and call attention to itself, not blend into the lines of your garments. It should be very crisp, staccato, broken up and multicolored. Loads of crisp trim, loads of outlining, collars, cuffs, waistbands, labels, with piping of contrasting colors or fabric, braiding, beads and so on. Small crisp pleats, sharp angular necklines also small, mandarin, nehru, band, 
small men tailored styles, small V's, wing tipped, small tailored labels or crisp labelless with piping, small crisp cuffs, sharp and narrow waist definition. You might not look as good in minimal clean detail, in simplicity, in oversized or unconstructed detail, in elongated detail, in ornate or frilled detail. All right, that's it. Subscribe on my channel and don't miss the full recommendation for the wardrobe for gamins. It's coming soon.